four. It's interesting to wake up one day and know that you're going to ride a rocket to space that day. One and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis. For me, it was a space shuttle, Space Shuttle Atlantis, launching from the Kennedy Space Center. And you are supremely ready for the day. You're ready technically because of the huge amount of training. I mean, I was an engineer with a master's degree and a fighter pilot and a test pilot, and I'd been training as an astronaut and then training with that crew, learned to speak Russian, learned all the stuff I needed to know. So technically, I was at the top of my game and ready to go. But you've never done it before. You've never actually done this thing. And so there's a feeling of not incompetence, but just uncertainty at how it's actually going to unfold. And you, you have the confidence, but you don't have the proof that you know what you're doing yet. You crawl into the spaceship on your hands and knees and you're laying on your back and you're, you're thinking of all of the things that are your responsibility. You're thinking of the thousands of, of minute things that, that you are going to help affect in all of the various failure cases that are going to get your spaceship to orbit. And then you're also thinking about the improbable road that got you there, laying on your back. Once you've gone over the, the compulsories a few thousand times in your head, you're laying on your back and you think about the road that got you there. Everybody who taught you something. And then, since it's at the Kennedy Space Center, you think about all your friends and family that are just three or four miles away. Even though you have no contact with them, they are, they're with you and they're sharing the experience. And, and their hopes and dreams are, are in the cockpit with you. You have all that going on. And as the clock ticks down, it's, it's just like the pressure of everything rises. It's like time is a noise, you know, that, that is getting louder and louder and louder. Eight, seven. Go for main engine start. Until finally you get to six seconds before launch and the engine's starting to light and finally you have something to do. And, and, and now the game is afoot. And suddenly now you can focus. It's, it's sort of like a, uh, a release of pent up capability at the moment the engine's light. And six seconds, the engines, the three liquid engines on the back run through the checks, get up to full power. And then after six seconds are over, Lift you off. hit T0. The huge solid rocket's light. You suddenly have seven million pounds of thrust and you're away. It's, it's, it is a big, joyous relief. And, and eight minutes and 42 seconds later, when you get to orbit, the feeling is one of relief. Relief because this thing that you have kind of bet all of your efforts on has happened, finally. No one can ever take it away from you. You're going five miles a second, you're above the air, you're orbiting the world, you got there safely, and now everything you've dreamed about prepared for is about to happen and it can't go back. And so there's this great feeling of joyous relief and now you can just get to work.